What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll, we will be making a track entirely only using the Track God VST. So let's load an instance of that up. I don't know if you guys know what this is, but basically it's a a uh, sort of like the poor man's nexus, I like to call it. And it's just got some expansion bat packs, bells, some of your your bread and butter sounds and it's even got some drum sounds which are kind of shitty but we'll use them we're gonna use everything from this track god vst or in my case au plugin and we're going to make a beat so let's go i'm gonna set set our tempo to 135 and then i'm going to let's go to basic keys and go to Tunichi or something. That sounds like a minor chord it's to be played with that. Let's hear. Nah, I don't like that sound. Let's listen. play some chords with that. Let's drop the low pass a little bit. Let's write some chords in. Just drawing in some chords. Uh, that sounds good. I like that. Let's add bass notes. Highlight the root note of each chord. Option, drag them down, drag them back up. Now you have a duplicate, shift, option, down. Let's do the same thing again. Now you have two la layers of a bass note. up another instance of the track on BSC. change the sound. 
But I like this notes. Okay, let's record that. That sounds good. Let's see tr ad audition other sounds. Let's add 808s. Okay. Here we go. They have some nice 808s, especially for such a cheap VST. The Big Bang Theory. Let's listen to some 808s. down the release so however much we hold it is how long it'll be. Okay. Here we go. Let's write in the 808. Yeah. Actually, let's just play this in by hand. Whoops, it glitched out, guys. Sorry for that. take that first those first two notes and shift option up shift uh, I mean command a oh whoops don't want to do that and stretch up all the notes shift option up so we create a sort of lead-in
let's lengthen these notes. This desperately needs saturation. Uh, let's see what we can do in the VST. Maybe add a little bit of reverb. Shift option up to raise it up an octave. If we raise the volume, it'll distort it. Out. I'm trying not to use third-party effects because usually I would use a uh, soft tube saturation knob. You know what I could do is I could use a bit crusher and distort it. Uh, drive. Let's turn that down a little bit. Let's turn that down all the way. Resolution. Six bit. Down sampling. Eight times. Let's add another instance of the track god VSD because that's all, we'll all we're using today. And let's go to new rules and let's find a kick. I I've tested these out before. Most of them uh, kind of uh, not so good, but thump is pretty good. So let's record that. raise the volume of the kick. Let's quantize the kick. Okay, let's add a clap. New rules, clap, let's listen, let's audition some claps. Well, authentic sounds good. Average is really good. Ooh, these are some high quality claps. I didn't really listen to the claps earlier. Quantize those. Maybe tone down the bit crusher a little bit.
Actually, let's just bring everything up. In. Now we need to add more elements, more instrumentation. So let's build it up a little bit. Track God uh, stereo. Let's add some brass. That could sound good. Let's record that in. Ah, I fucked it up. I screwed it up. Sorry. Part of my French. Uh, let me fix that. The great thing about MIDI is that everything is fixable. Command A, Q to quantize, shift backslash to stretch the notes out. Let's add reverb. Let's add reverb to this pluck. Sounds good. That that could be a good chorus. Let's take the eight oh eight out for the verse. Let's add a hi hat in the second part of the verse. Uh, let's actually, let's do this every other, let's listen to it now. not outputting any sound. That's not good. Let me duplicate this one. Uh, 
Oh, is logic crashing on me? For some reason I'm not getting any sound, I'm going to pause the video, figure out what's going on, and then get right back to you guys. Okay. Peace. Okay guys, so I got it working. I mean, I guess that's what you get when you pay for like a $20 VST and you expect expect it all. I had to reboot Logic and re-get back into it, but it's working now, so that's all that matters, so let's get back to it. Let's think of a baseline. record that I played that a little late so let's quantize it with some swing cuz I want it to feel human but at the same time I also want it to be a little bit off so command a Quantize one sixteenth note swing C. I always use swing C. This is my personal favorite. And then let's add like hi hats or something right here. Let's add another instance to the VST. Big Bang Theory. Actually, I think there's some drums in here. Oh, kick. Let's listen to this kick. I didn't. Oh my gosh, it crashed again. I might have to stop recommending this VST. I was so excited for it. Apparently, every time I want to uh, load up a new track, it requires me to reboot Logic, which is really freaking annoying. Um, but, I mean, I guess that's what you get, uh, with a cheap VST, but, uh, I don't want to have to restart it every time, that seems... Yeah, guys, I might have to, hmm, I don't know what to say. I mean, it has great sounds, it's super cheap, but crashing once you get over eight tracks is like not acceptable. Ooh, I like that one. Okay, that could work. Tic tac. Let's draw in a hi hat pattern.
that in a really fast like glitch hat roll here. And then let's copy that for the second half and add some low notes in too. And R to duplicate those over. playing don't do this to me track god why you do this how come only that one chord is playing Oh my gosh, if I have to reboot Logic one more time, I swear to God. Okay, I rebooted Logic. If it doesn't work, I'm literally going to say don't buy this thing. I'm actually at my breaking point, even though I love this VST. Oh, maybe it's because I have a loop on. Maybe it's like glitching out. Why is the OVO piano not playing? Oh my gosh. Well, guys, that's going to have to be the end of this video. I'll bounce it out and play the track at the end of it for you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Look at all the potential, but this is a good point. This is a good point to end on to say that there are drawbacks when it comes to using super cheap VSTs. And this is, this is seeing the drawbacks in action. So... I don't know. It's up to me or it's up to you guys. Do you think you should get it? Comment down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed limiting myself and using only one VST for all the sounds uh, and mostly all the effects too. Um, I hope you enjoy it and I'll play the track right now and you guys can watch some of my other videos. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and peace out.